Question 1. What action should you take when approaching a yield sign? A. Stop and wait for all cars to pass. B. Slow down and yield to traffic. C. Maintain your speed and merge safely. Answer. B. Slow down and yield to traffic. When you see a yield sign, it means you must slow down and yield the right of way to traffic in the intersection you are crossing or roadway you are entering. Question 2. In what situations are U-turns prohibited? A. On highways. B. Near the top of a hill. C. In residential areas. Answer. B. Near the top of a hill. U-turns are generally prohibited near the top of a hill where visibility is limited, as well as in other specific situations depending on local laws. Question 3. How should you react when you see a no-turn sign? A. Make a U-turn. B. Continue straight. C. Turn at the next intersection. Answer. B. Continue straight. A no-turn sign indicates that no turns are allowed at that intersection and you must continue straight. Question 4. What does an electric vehicle charging station sign indicate? A. Parking for electric vehicles only. B. A nearby gas station. C. An area prone to power outages. Answer. A. Parking for electric vehicles only. This sign is used to designate parking spaces equipped with electric vehicle charging facilities. Question 5. What should a driver do at a push button for pedestrian cross sign? A. Wait for pedestrians to cross. B. Push the button and walk across. C. Increase speed to pass quickly. Answer. A. Wait for pedestrians to cross. Drivers should stop and wait for pedestrians who have activated the crosswalk signal. Question 6. What are the rules for driving on a road marked with a one-way sign? A. Drive only in the direction of the arrow. B. You can turn in any direction. C. Stop and yield before proceeding. Answer. A. Drive only in the direction of the arrow. A one-way sign indicates that you must drive only in the direction the sign's arrow is pointing. Question 7. What is the legal blood alcohol concentration? Base C. Limit for drivers over 21 in California. A. 0. 8%. B. 0. 5%. C. 0. 10%. Answer. A. 0. 8%. In California, the legal bakery limit for drivers over 21 is 0, 8 percent. Question 8. How should you respond to a school bus with flashing red lights and an extended stop sign? A. Pass the bus with caution. B. Stop and wait until the lights stop flashing. C. Honk to alert the bus driver. Answer. B. Stop and wait until the lights stop flashing. When a school bus has its red lights flashing and stop sign extended, drivers must stop and wait until the lights are turned off and the bus moves. Question 9. What distance should you maintain from the vehicle in front of you under normal driving conditions? A. 2-second rule. B. 10-second rule. C. 5-second rule. Answer. A. 2-second rule. The two-second rule is a guideline for maintaining a safe following distance at any speed. Question 10. How do seat belts reduce the risk of injury in a crash? A. By keeping passengers in the vehicle. B. By stopping the vehicle faster. C. By alerting emergency services. Answer. A. By keeping passengers in the vehicle. Seat belts reduce the risk of injury by keeping passengers inside the vehicle and distributing the forces of a collision across stronger parts of the body. Question 11. What are the consequences of refusing a blood alcohol content? Base C. Test in California. A. A warning and a fine. B. Mandatory jail time. C. License suspension and fines. Answer. C. 
license suspension, and fines. Refusing a Bait C test in California can result in automatic license suspension and fines, among other penalties. Question 12. When are you required to stop for a pedestrian at a crosswalk? A. Only when the pedestrian is on the driver's side of the road. B. Always, regardless of the pedestrian's location. C. Only when traffic lights indicate. Answer. B. Always, regardless of the pedestrian's location. Drivers must always stop for pedestrians at crosswalks, regardless of their location within the crosswalk. Question 13. In a roundabout, who has the right of way? A. Vehicles already in the roundabout. B. Incoming vehicles. C. Pedestrians. Answer. A. Vehicles already in the roundabout. Vehicles already circulating in a roundabout have the right of way over those waiting to enter. Question 14. What steps should you take if your vehicle begins to skid? A. Steer in the opposite direction of the skid. B. Brake hard and steer straight. C. Steer in the direction you want to go. Answer. C. Steer in the direction you want to go. If your vehicle begins to skid, steer in the direction you want the vehicle to go. Question 15. What is the speed limit in a California residential area unless otherwise posted? A. 25 miles per hour. B. 35 miles per hour. C. 20 miles per hour. Answer. A. 25 miles per hour. In California, the default speed limit in residential areas is 25 miles per hour unless otherwise posted. Question 16. How should you proceed when approaching a blind intersection? A. Speed up to pass quickly. B. Stop and then proceed when safe. C. Proceed with caution at the posted speed limit. Answer. C. Proceed with caution at the posted speed limit. At a blind intersection, slow down, proceed with caution, and be ready to stop if necessary. Question 17. What should you do if your accelerator sticks while driving? A. Pump the brakes. B. Shift to neutral and apply the brakes. C. Turn off the engine. Answer. B. Shift to neutral and apply the brakes. If your accelerator sticks, shift to neutral, apply the brakes, and steer to a safe area. Question 18. When is it legal to pass another vehicle on the right? A. When the vehicle in front is turning left. B. In no circumstance. C. On a one-lane road. Answer. A. When the vehicle in front is turning left. It's legal to pass on the right if the vehicle ahead is making a left turn and there is room to pass safely. Question 19. What are the guidelines for using your headlights during periods of low visibility? A. Use high beams at all times. B. Use low beams in fog, rain, or snow. C. Only use parking lights. Answer. B. Use low beams in fog, rain, or snow. During low visibility conditions, use low beam headlights to ensure visibility and safety. Question 20. How far must you park from a fire hydrant in California? A. 10 feet. B. 15 feet. C. 5 feet. Answer. B. 15 feet. In California, you must park at least 15 feet away from a fire hydrant. Question 21. What is the proper way to enter a freeway in California? A. Enter at or near the speed of traffic. B. Enter slowly to avoid traffic. C. Stop before merging with freeway traffic. Answer. A. Enter at or near the speed of traffic. When entering a freeway, you should match the speed of traffic and merge safely. Question 22. How should you react if an emergency vehicle with flashing lights and siren is approaching? A. Continue driving at the same speed. B. Pull to the right and stop. C. Speed up to clear the way. Answer. B. 
pull to the right and stop. You should pull over to the right and stop when an emergency vehicle with flashing lights and sirens is approaching. Question 23. When is it necessary to use your vehicle's turn signals? A. Only when turning at intersections. B. When changing lanes or turning. C. When pulling away from the curb. Answer. B. When changing lanes or turning. Turn signals must be used when changing lanes, turning, or pulling away from the curb. Question 24. What are the rules regarding the use of cell phones while driving in California? A. Handheld use is allowed. B. Only hands-free use is permitted. C. Any use is prohibited. Answer. B. Only hands-free use is permitted. In California, Drivers are allowed to use cell phones only with hands-free devices. Question 25. How should you adjust your driving in foggy conditions? A. Use high beam headlights. B. Increase your speed to pass fog quickly. C. Use low beam headlights and reduce speed. Answer. C. Use low beam headlights and reduce speed. In foggy conditions, use low beam headlights and reduce your speed to increase visibility and safety. Question 26. When parking uphill on a street with a curb, which way should you turn your wheels? A. Away from the curb. B. Towards the curb. C. Keep them straight. Answer. A. Away from the curb. When parking uphill on a street with a curb, turn your wheels away from the curb. Question 27. What does a flashing red traffic light signify? A. Proceed with caution. B. Stop and proceed when safe. C. Yield to oncoming traffic. Answer. B. Stop and proceed when safe. A flashing red light is treated as a stop sign. Stop and proceed when it's safe. Question 28. What are the steps for making a safe and legal three-point turn? A. Signal. Check traffic. Turn. Reverse. Proceed. B. Stop. Turn. Reverse. Accelerate. Go. C. Check mirrors. Signal. Make a U-turn. Answer. A. Signal. Check traffic. Turn. Reverse. Proceed. For a three-point turn, signal. Check for traffic. Then turn. Reverse. And proceed when safe. Question 29. When is it permissible to drive over the speed limit? A. Never. B. When passing slower traffic. C. In emergencies. Answer. A. Never. It is never permissible to drive over the speed limit. Question 30. How should a driver behave at an uncontrolled intersection? A. Drive through without stopping. B. Yield to all drivers on the right. C. Stop and proceed when safe. Answer. C. Stop and proceed when safe. At an uncontrolled intersection, drivers should stop and then proceed when it is safe to do so. Question 31. What is the significance of a yellow painted curb in California? A. Loading zone for passengers or mail only. B. No stopping or parking. C. Reserved for commercial vehicles. Answer. A. Loading zone for passengers or mail only. A yellow painted curb in California indicates a loading zone for passengers or mail only. Question 32. How much space should you leave when parallel parking between your car and other parked cars? A. 2 feet. B. 6 inches. C. 1 foot. Answer. C. One foot. When parallel parking, leave about one foot of space between your car and other parked cars. Question 33. What should you do if you miss your freeway exit? A. Make a U-turn and return to the exit. B. Proceed to the next exit. C. Stop and back up to the exit. Answer. B. Proceed to the next exit. If you miss your freeway exit, continue to the next exit. Question 34. What is the law regarding yielding to pedestrians in California? A. 
yield only at marked crosswalks. B. Always yield to pedestrians. C. Pedestrians must yield to vehicles. Answer. B. Always yield to pedestrians. Drivers must always yield the right of way to pedestrians in California. Question 35. What actions should you take if your car's engine overheats while driving? A. Continue driving to the nearest service station. B. Turn off the air conditioning and turn on the heater. C. Speed up to increase airflow. Answer. B. Turn off the air conditioning and turn on the heater. If your car's engine overheats, turn off the air conditioning and turn on the heater to draw heat away from the engine. Question 36. In what situations is honking your horn appropriate and legal in California? A. To alert someone to danger. B. Out of frustration or anger. C. To greet a friend. Answer. A. To alert someone to danger. Honking your horn is appropriate and legal in California to alert someone to danger. Question 37. How should you react if you encounter a funeral procession while driving? A. Join the procession to reach your destination faster. B. Yield and do not interrupt or join the procession. C. Honk to alert the procession to your presence. Answer. B. Yield and do not interrupt or join the procession. You should yield to a funeral procession and not interrupt or join it. Question 38. What is the rule for passing bicycles on the road in California? A. Pass closely to avoid veering into other lanes. B. Maintain at least a three-foot distance when passing. C. Bicycles should yield to vehicles. Answer. B. Maintain at least a three-foot distance when passing. When passing bicycles on the road, you should maintain at least a three-foot distance from them. Question 39. What should you do if you're involved in a minor traffic collision with no injuries? A. Leave the scene immediately. B. Move vehicles out of traffic if possible. C. Wait for police before moving anything. Answer. B. Move vehicles out of traffic if possible. In a minor traffic collision with no injuries, move vehicles out of traffic if possible and safe to do so. Question 40. How does California law define tailgating and what are the penalties for it? A. Following too closely with intent to harass. B. Driving within three car lengths of another vehicle. C. Following closer than is reasonable and prudent. Answer. C. Following closer than is reasonable and prudent. Tailgating is defined as following another vehicle more closely than is reasonable and prudent, considering the speed of vehicles, traffic, and road conditions. Question 41. What is the recommended following distance on highways under normal conditions in California? A. Three-second rule. B. One-second rule. C. Five-second rule. Answer. A. Three-second rule. The recommended following distance on highways under normal conditions is the three-second rule to ensure enough time to react and stop if necessary. Question 42. How should you react when approaching a railroad crossing with flashing lights? A. Speed up to cross before the train arrives. B. Stop and wait for the train to pass. C. Proceed if no train is visible. Answer. B. Stop and wait for the train to pass. When approaching a railroad crossing with flashing lights, stop and wait until the lights stop flashing and it is safe to proceed. Question 43. What should you do if you're driving and encounter heavy rain or a thunderstorm? A. Keep driving at the same speed. B. Pull over and wait for the storm to pass. C. Slow down, use headlights, and maintain a safe distance from other vehicles. Answer. C. Slow down, use headlights, and maintain a safe distance from other vehicles. In heavy rain or thunderstorm, it's important to reduce speed and increase following distance for safety. Question 44. What are the rules for making a right turn on a red light in California? A. 
illegal under all circumstances. B. Turn without stopping if the way is clear. C. Stop first, then turn if safe and no sign prohibits it. Answer. C. Stop first, then turn if safe and no sign prohibits it. In California, you may turn right on a red light after stopping and ensuring that the way is clear, unless a sign prohibits it. Question 45. What steps should you take if your vehicle's brakes fail? A. Pump the brakes rapidly. B. Steer off the road. C. Apply the parking brake gently. Answer. A. Pump the brakes rapidly. If your vehicle's brakes fail, pump the brakes rapidly. If that doesn't work, use the parking brake while holding the release button. Question 46. When is it illegal to use your vehicle's high beam headlights? A. Within 500 feet of an oncoming vehicle. B. On well-lit streets. C. Both that and B. Answer. C. Both A and B. It's illegal to use high beam headlights within 500 feet of an oncoming vehicle and on well-lit streets. Question 47. What does a solid white line on the road indicate? A. Lane changes are encouraged. B. Indicates a shoulder or bicycle lane. C. Discourages lane changing at high-risk locations. Answer. C. Discourages lane changing at high-risk locations. A solid white line on the road typically indicates that lane changes are discouraged due to potentially hazardous conditions. Question 48. How should you position your hands on the steering wheel according to the latest safety recommendations? A. 10 and 2 o'clock positions. B. 9 and 3 o'clock positions. C. 8 and 4 o'clock positions. Answer. B. 9 and 3 o'clock positions. The latest safety recommendations advise positioning your hands at the 9 and 3 o'clock positions on the steering wheel. Question 49. What are the rules regarding child safety seats and restraints in California? A. Children under 8 must be in a car seat or booster. B. Children under 6 must be in a rear-facing car seat. C. Children under 10 must use a booster seat. Answer. A. Children under 8 must be in a car seat or booster. In California, children under 8 years old must be secured in a car seat or booster seat in the back seat. Question 50. When is it necessary to yield the right-of-way to public transit buses in California? A. When buses are merging from bus stops. B. Only in designated areas. C. At all times. Answer. A. When buses are merging from bus stops. In California, drivers are required to yield the right-of-way to public transit buses that are merging back into traffic from a bus stop. Question 51. What should you do if you're being tailgated? A. Slow down and encourage the tailgater to pass. B. Tap your brakes to warn the tailgater. C. Maintain your speed and lane position. Answer. A. Slow down and encourage the tailgater to pass. If you're being tailgated, it's safest to slow down slightly and encourage the tailgater to pass you when it's safe. Question 52. How do anti-lock brakes, ABS, help in an emergency braking situation? A. They lock the wheels to stop the car faster. B. They prevent the wheels from locking to maintain steering control. C. They reduce the car's speed automatically. Answer. B. They prevent the wheels from locking to maintain steering control. ABS helps you maintain steering control during an emergency stop by preventing the wheels from locking. Question 53. What is the correct procedure for changing lanes on a multi-lane highway? A. Check mirrors and blind spots, then change lanes quickly. B. Signal, check mirrors and blind spots, then change lanes when safe. C. Change lanes without signaling if the lane is clear. Answer. B. Signal, check mirrors and blind spots, 
then change lanes when safe. Always signal, check your mirrors and blind spots, and then change lanes when it's safe to do so. Question 54. How can you identify school zone and what are the speed limits in such areas? A. School zone signs and a speed limit of 25 miles per hour. B. Flashing yellow lights and a speed limit of 15 miles per hour. C. Crosswalks and a speed limit of 20 miles per hour. Answer. A. School zone signs and a speed limit of 25 miles per hour. School zones are marked with signs and the speed limit is typically 25 miles per hour when children are present. Question 55. What should you do if you experience a tire blowout while driving? A. Brake hard and steer towards the shoulder. B. Maintain your lane and slow down gradually. C. Accelerate to maintain control. Answer. B. Maintain your lane and slow down gradually. If you have a tire blowout, keep a firm grip on the steering wheel, maintain your lane, and slow down gradually. Question 56. What actions are required when driving in a shared left turn lane? A. Accelerate quickly to merge with traffic. B. Use it as a regular driving lane. C. Use the lane only for making left turns. Answer. C. Use the lane only for making left turns. A shared left turn lane is specifically for drivers making left turns and should not be used as a regular driving lane. Question 57. How does California law address the use of headphones or earbuds while driving? A. Use in both ears is allowed. B. Use in one ear is allowed. C. Use in both ears is prohibited. Answer. C. Use in both ears is prohibited. In California, it's illegal to wear headphones or earbuds covering, resting on, or inserted in both ears while driving. Question 58. What is the proper response to an approaching funeral procession if you are not part of it? A. Overtake the procession quickly. B. Pull over and wait for it to pass. C. Maintain your speed and lane. Answer. B. Pull over and wait for it to pass. It's respectful to pull over and wait for a funeral procession to pass if you encounter one. Question 59. How should you handle a situation where an emergency vehicle is stopped on the side of the road with its lights flashing? A. Slow down and move over if safe to do so. B. Maintain your speed and lane. C. Stop and wait behind the emergency vehicle. Answer. A. Slow down and move over if safe to do so. When passing a stopped emergency vehicle with flashing lights, slow down and move over to another lane if it's safe. Question 60. What is the significance of a diamond-shaped symbol painted on a lane, and how should drivers treat these lanes? A. Indicates a carpool lane. B. Marks a lane for slow-moving vehicles. C. Signifies a lane for high-occupancy vehicles, AOV, or carpool vehicles. Answer. C. Signifies a lane for high-occupancy vehicles, AOV, or carpool vehicles. A diamond-shaped symbol on a lane usually indicates that the lane is reserved for HOVs or carpool vehicles.